What is up guys? So I am officially back here in Delaware and let me tell you guys, it is hot. It's definitely one of them toasty ones here today. I had to find some shade before freaking catch on fire. I'm really excited about this video. We're gonna be doing something kind of weird. But first, before we get into that, I just wanna let all of you guys know that hats are back for sale. First day fishing hats. These were on sale for a little bit and I had a very limited stock and they kind of sold out, but they are back in stock. There's this blue one and there's the gray one. If you would like to purchase one, link is in the description as well as t-shirts, those are still for sale. But yeah guys, anyway, back to the video. Basically guys, I was on the internet and I was just, I don't know, I was just going around. And I kind of stumbled across something that just really caught my eye. So as y'all can see here, I have two tubes. One says bass and one says sunfish. These are bait cloud fish attractant ball things. So first when I saw this product, it was on Amazon. I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting, I guess. But then I took a closer look at it. This is literally a bath bomb. If you don't know what that is, basically it's like this little ball full of chemicals. You drop it into, I think, a bathtub and it smells good and makes you feel cleaner. I don't I don't know why people use bath bombs. But basically these things are literally like bath bombs to attract fish. Now the first thing I thought when I saw these, I was like, yo, there's no way that's good for the environment because bath bombs, you think about bath bomb, it's like all chemicals and stuff. This literally says earth friendly. So I guess it's good for, to put in the water i don't really know this stuff really caught my attention like does this work does it not work we're gonna find out here today i'm actually gonna put some of these in the water i have the panfish as i said and the bass we're gonna put them in the water to see if these things work i mean they did not have the highest rating on amazon i'm not getting paid to use this product I'm not getting paid to say the name honestly like i really don't have faith in this product i mean i hope it works but something in my head is just like yo that, that's not gonna work so yeah guys we are gonna be testing out a bath bomb for fish in this pond here today i mean these videos just keep getting weirder and weirder so i'm just gonna throw these bombs in i'm gonna start off with the sunfish because i see some sunfish over there so i'm gonna try to throw it like over here see if we can attract them over here that's gonna be the first test oh and by the way y'all once this is done we're gonna be doing some fishing yeah man enough talking let's crack these things open let's see if i wasted my money or not panfish bait attractant bath bombs I'm just gonna dump these out right here one two and three it only comes with three in the whole little package right there right there there's there's a couple different sunfish over there there's a couple different species of sunfish so what we're gonna do we're gonna throw the bait bomb over here a little bit grab this one right here and as i said man we're gonna see if those fish will come over to this little bait attractor aren't really any fish down there right now here we go man the first bait bomb going in Practical nuke incoming! let's see what happens is there anything around there coming? Guys, I don't see anything around here going towards the bait bomb yet. I mean, at least it looks cool. It looks like a little mini volcanic eruption. It's got some bubbles on the top. I'll come back to you guys in a second if anything comes over here. Nothing has even showed a little bit of interest at all. I mean, you guys can pretty much see right through the water. No fish around here at all. There's still some stuff busting on the surface over there. They're eating these little flies that are going there. Now, I don't want to speak too soon, but that right there, guys, that is a, that is an owl. Oh, oh. Oh, I was just about to say it's an L. Yo, look at this little dude. You guys see that? He's looking at it. Was that little dude attracted by the bait thing? I mean, he's not even looking at it now. I'm gonna, nah, I don't know. I know. This is about to get a little bit more juicy. You guys can see there are sunfish all around me right here. I'm gonna throw one of these in like right there by my feet. We're gonna see once that settles down. Is anything gonna come over to that or? Oh, oh okay, okay. We got some lookers over there. These guys are looking at it. You see those two? Are they coming to it? Oh, those two are looking. I think they're just more curious than anything. Maybe me talking and standing here probably might not be helping this case. But yeah, that one swam away. Dude, these dudes are not very interested in the freaking, like, that there's the last one. I threw it right next to that guy. I mean, you got one, two bath bombs just chilling there. And I mean, I, I can't, I, I don't know, dude. There's like two right there. There's one right there just chilling and looking. I mean, if this really attracted the fish, I feel like they'd be over here. I mean, it looks cool in the water and it's safe for the fish i guess at least it said on the package america just cracked open the bass bombs uh, there's only three in there as well i got one out i saw a few little bass are swimming around this area so i'm just gonna chuck this right in there like that oh that dude had a bigger puff of smoke oh yo that looked actually pretty cool what the heck that took a long time to fall down too Ooh. okay right away i'm pretty sure it's just because it splashed and they were all like what the heck was that but right away dude there were three or four sunfish that came over to it and then they just they were not interested so i don't even know like i feel like i'm trying to be a scientist and like i try to discover something but a sunfish just came up and ate a bubble that came i looked like from the thing so 
Where, where am I? I don't, I don't know, dude. These things do not work. All right, enough of this stuff. Let me just say one thing. This is supposed to bring the fish to you by combining scent, sound, visual attractant, and whatever. It's supposed to be irresistible fish, biodegradable. I mean, nothing. There's no fish there, dude. But hey, man, I'm not trying to bash this product. That doesn't mean that it doesn't work in some bodies of water. I don't know. If you guys want to see me try this again, maybe get some underwater footage of it, definitely let me know in the comments below. I don't, I just... I don't know, man. It is really hot out here. Enough messing around though, guys. My spirits are they're decreasing. We gotta catch some fish, man. We gotta raise them up a little bit. Plus this over here is one of my favorite ponds to fish of like all time. So this should be fun. All right, y'all. So here's the pond that we're actually gonna be fishing today. I'm just gonna throw this in here for good luck. Now y'all have seen me fish this place before. The interesting thing about today though is that it has been raining for like the past couple days. I just talked to the Gabe warden. He says that they do indeed drain this place when it rains a lot so that I mean it doesn't flood over. Today as you can see they're actually putting water back into this pond and that right there my friends is a great great sign. That means that there is moving water. In theory the moving water I mean you can see the bubbles when it splashes down. That should put more oxygen into the water and that should also cool down the water a little bit. So bass should be kind of hanging out around here you know. Hopefully that works in our favor today. Now there are some giant giant i mean giant fish in here like six plus pounders i've seen them myself today could be the day we hook into one of them now today guys we are going to be testing out some products that a company actually sent to me so these right here oh so these guys right here are some baits from a company named biospawn they're like yo you want to try some of these out i was like yeah sure send them my way this is what we're going to be using to fish here today now y'all know me i'm going to give you guys my honest review here they actually sent me six packages two different kind of baits and three different colorways of each bait so first we got the plasma tail it's advertised as a great finesse bait it's got a little plasma tip it's like like a little color tail to entice strikes it's got like a small slender tail for action and it is infused with a scent like some kind of bio scent the other bait we got is called an exo stick it's kind of got this joint ribbed body it's advertised to help displace water it comes in 12 colors and i think today we're first going to try this i think texas rig i mean you could wacky rig dead rig whatever you want i guess with this that was pretty cool about biospawn too if any of these baits look interesting to you you can actually go down there to the description you can actually use my promo code right here and you'll get 20 percent off all of your orders from biospawn so not gonna lie man that's pretty sick they hooked me up and now they can hook you up yeah, man, i'm actually really excited for this i'm gonna whip out one of these exo sticks here come on there's got to be some fish like right over here honestly this exo stick is too perfect for this pond too for some reason the fish in this pond i mean they really like to go for the soft plastic like worm imitations i don't know why that is i've literally never seen anybody catch anything here on a different kind of artificial or i mean i've seen people catch stuff on live bait but i mean that's live bait you know oh gosh oh my gosh someone ran off with that <sighs> that completely completely caught me off guard basically you guys just got this little exo stick texas rigged on here now I, I i gotta be honest when i took the exo stick out i was really really surprised at how much like it was like slippery like how much scent they actually put on it this thing is super super covered in scent which i mean that's definitely a positive i mean as you can see right there i just got i actually got hammered twice so far it's kind of my fault i didn't get the hookups but i mean this thing is putting in a little bit of work so far man Funny story that's actually not that funny. You see this stuff right here? So basically, I don't know how many years ago it was. But this pond was drained just like it is kind of now because of the flooding and there was much rain and stuff. Like, it would kind of look like it does right now. It was just, maybe it was a little bit more like brownish of a color. But however old me just decides like, oh, that's solid ground. I jumped in it up to almost my knees, man. Just covered in mud. I was just like swaying there like, oh my God. One of the fond memories of this body of water right, holy crap no way guys i was literally just telling that story right i think that this holy crap i am not exactly sure what this is or how old it is or how expensive it is I'm not sure if this is like a savage gear or something i don't know let me know in the comments below guys what exactly this little dude is that is so freaking sick this dude was literally sitting on that pipe over there it was stuck i think the treble hook was stuck in it you can still see there's like some fuzz in it but how cool is that man i'll clean that dude up i'll definitely definitely use that maybe i'll do a video where i try to catch a fish with that let me know if you guys want to see that oh my gosh there we go oh it's casted the bait out pretty deep honestly i feel like these fish are either towards the moving water right here or they're deep and just like trying to get out of the sun a little bit, you know? Yeah, let's see if we can get him again. Oh, there's one. Oh, come on. Oh, does he have it? He does have it. There you go. Okay, there you go, guys. 
Oh, he's running at me now. Oh, come down, buddy. Stay down. That's a decent one. Okay, come here, buddy. First fish of the day. There we go, guys. Whew, on the exo stick. There, y'all. There we go. First one of the day. Let me toss him back. Oh my gosh, man. It's been an interesting day so far. I basically just snagged the turtle. That took up like 15, 20 minutes. I, I just felt bad. I didn't want to record it. I felt bad. Not gonna lie, man. That, like, I mean, it wasn't a giant fish or anything. That just feels great, man. I can't tell you how many times, guys, I got hit just off the, like, the drop. I don't know if it's the scent. I don't know if it's the action or the way it falls. This bait's doing it, though. There's a fish. Oh. Oh, I have it. I did not think I hooked into that. Oh, there you go, another little one. Dude, that, I mean, right there, that's probably like the average size for this little pond right here. Actually, no, I lied, it's a little small. Oh man, somebody messed this dude's jaw up. Jeez, can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, yeah, man, second one of the day, second one on the exo stick. Let's uh, get down here. It's always sketchy walking on this. I like slipped and fell earlier because this is usually all underwater. Yeah, man, second fish of the day. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. There it goes. All right guys, so pretty much, I thought I had drop shot weights. I don't have my drop shot weights with me, but I just put a jig head on here. This, I mean, let's see how this works. All right guys, I'm really nervous that I did not capture any of that footage, but look at this dude right here, man. Ooh. That is a freaking beast right there. That is a little Mondo for you guys on the little plasma tail. Look, I literally had him hooked barely on the side of the mouth with the plasma tail. It was just on that little jig head. I hope I had a little bit of that fight at least man I, I just looked down and said gopro full that is a good good fish here for this pond man and i was fighting that dude that felt crazy let's let him go right there man i wish i could get down close to the water man i really really hope that i had that fight on camera even a little bit i'm about to go check right now not enough sd card space i mean i didn't even know i was running out basically that was my second cast using that kind of as a ned rig i would let it go down and then i just pop it up and I let it sit down and I'd pop it up one of the times I popped it up it would have been such good footage man this thing it was not giving any lineup I just popped it up and I just felt that weight it was dude so frustrating man but that's just filming that's just YouTube I guess it's just like it would have been a really cool fight to have on this video because it really did like that thing was digging down I couldn't even like Whew, but it's all good man on that note I mean I'm still happy that I caught that fish I just wish you guys could have saw it but on that note man I think that is going to do it here for the fishing today everybody else left the pond a couple people came here as i was fishing and then they left and then i was still here and i caught that fish that that was really that was really cool i'm excited to actually use those plasma tails on a drop shot i feel like that would definitely be a killer bait overall man shout out to biospawn if you guys want them to hook you up as well as i said before go down there in the description 20 percent off all biospawn stuff like on your order by the way i just kind of want to mention this to you guys that this is a super super pressured pond this pond gets hit pretty much every day by multiple people i mean they throw everything at the fish and it, it's just catch a fish like that i mean it's not very common at this pond usually i mean if you catch them they're usually the size i was catching earlier you know like the smaller ones it's still fun they still bend your tip but i mean you know what i mean so yeah guys pretty much i mean we took it out earlier i bought those little things they did not work that don't don't buy those and a little bit later i mean with the fishing we succeeded until the end there when the camera but i mean i just want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for watching this video it really really does mean a lot thank you so much for all of the support if you guys didn't know right now i'm actually like so many things are going on you guys knew i was in iceland you guys knew i was on the cruise i'm trying to like upload all these videos and in between all of this i'm actually moving down to dover delaware i've, I've been in this moving process for a while now we're officially moving i think and like two days, maybe, maybe tomorrow actually. Crap, I actually have to go pack. But yeah, so much stuff has been going on like behind the scenes that you guys really have not seen. And I mean, I'm trying to get as many videos out to you guys as possible, trying to get, you know, the quality. I don't just put anything out there. You guys know how I do. I mean, I've said this before, but I mean, it's been a little tough. I just want y'all to know, man, I am trying my best. The cool thing about where I'm moving, it's not really too far. Maybe it's about 40 minutes from where I am now. I'm going like towards the middle of Delaware. I'm at the top right now, which I can still come back because my parents live here and everything. I'm actually closer to the salt and closer to different bodies of water, which is cool because we get to explore like a whole different part of Delaware and I get to fish more salt. So yeah, I mean, it's been hectic, but now I can actually like have an office, have like kind of like a little studio type thing. It's going to be really really nice for especially for these videos filming I'm, i bought really good internet so i can upload so i hopefully can stream more if i have more time if you guys know i have a streaming channel a lot of you guys don't know that i don't think i ever said that on my youtube channel now i'm just going off on tanya sometimes guys i play fortnite it, i'll put that down in the description the link to that streaming channel it's cool because like nobody knows about it so nobody comes so i can just talk to whoever's there and stuff <sighs> but yeah guys let me stop talking that's going to be here for this video today i've been talking so much right now i'm just like out of breath and i really do appreciate each and every one of you for watching thank you so much for all the support Let's keep this on, man. Thank you guys for watching. 
See you next video.